What's up? Welcome back to another video of Mac on Sports. I was going to do the vlog, uh, but things just didn't turn out. I ended up just watching the game, relaxing. I wanted to do that instead of actually commentating throughout a whole entire game for once. So yeah, I just uh, chilled out for a little bit and uh, enjoyed the game. So basically, we're just going to break some things down. Um, a couple of people were telling me they wanted to see a like uh, reaction video to the Raptors winning it. Just some stuff break just break down the series of what went wrong and just do some stats so uh yeah that's what we're gonna do so you know finals mvp if you didn't know first of all the toronto raptors won the championship you'll know by the title um Kawhi leonard i mean we're looking at a super super long time ago on get up or sports center first take any of those espn shows uh where they're all talking about Kawhi leonard where is he gonna go is Kawhi going to go to the Clippers, Lakers, you know, where's he going to go? You know, that's forever ago. That takes a forever ago because Kawhi and the Raptors are champions. Kawhi was unbelievable. Kawhi averaged 28 points and nine boards throughout the series. Finals MVP, well-deserved. Um, Kawhi was unbelievable. You know, he played with a chip on his shoulder. He uh, didn't let any outside noise get to him, and he just played absolutely amazing. So, you know, if for, for the Warriors, that was tough to stop. I mean... Warriors had to play through a lot of adversity. Kevin Durant going down with the torn Achilles. No one's requesting KD's heart. You know, KD wanted to go to war with his brothers, and uh, he did. And um, unfortunately for Kevin, uh, his circumstances is he tore his, uh, tore his Achilles, and he's going to be out for a while. So that really hurts Kevin, but you got to respect his heart. But they just had adversity. I mean, you're looking at it. Looney going down with a rib injury. DeMarcus Cousins wasn't really fully healthy. Clay Thompson with a tweaked hamstring and then hurting his leg in last night's game six. But I mean, it's really no excuses. Everybody at that point of the year is hurt. It's like, you got to play through your injuries. Now, Kevin Durant couldn't, you know, but that's a different story, you know. But yeah, so the Raptors were great. I mean, we're looking at the most improved player in the NBA. At least one of them is Fred Van Vliet. What a playoff performance he had but let alone what an NBA finals he had he hit 16 threes throughout the series that's the most by a guy coming off the bench since J.R. Smith with the Cavaliers that was absolutely unbelievable from Fred he even got an MVP vote from uh, I believe Hubie Brown or it was it was someone yeah someone gave him a uh, NBA finals vote and uh, yeah he just he was unbelievable so well deserved to Fred Van Vliet he was absolutely amazing and a shout out to uh, Pascal Siakam and Kawhi Leonard combining for um, 1,887 points, I believe. Something around those lines where it's, I want to say it was tied with Michael Jordan and Scotty Pittman maybe for second of all time. And I'm thinking first was LeBron and D-Wade back in their Miami days. They had like 2,200 2, points or something like that. But uh, yeah, Kawhi and Siakam, a great one-two duo. I think the biggest breakdown of this series, which really hurt the Warriors, is they couldn't stop the Raptors in transition. Now, Siakam's one of the top players in the NBA when he gets into transition. He's, his body's so long and lengthy, that's just what he does. So, you know, Siakam, he was getting a lot of buckets, especially game one, he balled out. But all throughout the series, he was getting buckets. And most of them were coming off of uh, just him on a fast break or getting transition points, you know, off of like a miss or off a missed turnover, you know. So they, they uh, that's where I think the Warriors really got hurt. Also looking at free throws. Uh, Warriors went 21 for 30. You can't shoot 70%. Like, nah, if you're, if you're, it's, you're your back's against the wall, you can't be free throws was a real dagger in game six uh throughout the series they weren't great but you know not much you can do there could this be the end for the warriors now that's the next question so as you know the raptors uh first time it's the uh, championships going out of the united states going to canada congrats to the jurassic park and the city of toronto and the whole country of canada big win you guys deserve it can't believe it but no is this the end for the warriors really uh i don't know I really don't. Curry, he's going to come back. Yeah, all right. Clay Thompson, he's a free agent. More than likely, I, I Clay will come back to the Warriors, just saying. But we got to be hypothetical here. But DeMarcus Cousins, he, he was a one and done at Kentucky, and he tried to be a one and done with the Warriors. Uh, he wanted he signed there to just try to get him a championship, you know? It was his year to prove that he really could be something special. So it really hurts that he got hurt. 
um, with his Achilles, but he worked his butt off. Um, so that's unfortunate for him. We'll see where he goes in the offseason. He's a free agent. Kevin Durant, free agent. Where's Kevin going to go? Is he going to go to the Knicks? Lake? Where's Kevin going to go? Is he going to re-sign with the Warriors? Who knows? That's what we got to watch for in free agency. So, really, it's just Iguodala's getting up there in age. You know, Andre Bogut off the bench. I don't expect him to be there. Jonas Terebko, I don't expect him. Livingston's up there in age. Who knows with the Warriors? Call the dynasty because they won three out of four. But could it be the end? That's all I got to say. And another breakdown I thought of this series was DeMarcus Cousins. Yes, he was amazing. And I will back him up because he's a Kentucky guy no matter what. He's great on the offensive end. He gives you energy. But his pick and roll defense is what left him out of the games at crucial times because he struggles to guard the pick and roll. And all of the Warriors did. That's where Siakam got a lot of buckets. Serge Ibaka off of pick and rolls, pick and pops. You know, that that was a bit big, big problem. But Toronto Raptors are your 2019 NBA champions. Free agency is going to start soon. We got the draft in a week. Yeah, basically it's a new season for everyone. Where will Kawhi go? Put it down in the comments. I want to see what you guys think. What do you think KD will go? And what did you think about the finals? But if you like this video, only to like, subscribe. Good to see you guys as always. Tell me what you want to see. Thanks for the shout outs uh, about this video so I can do one. And yeah, let's go. Good to see you. And I love the support. And congrats to the Raptors.